Recently, it has been announced that Mountain Dew Energy or Mountain Dew Rise, whichever we want to call it, has been canceled, sadly. I mean, it was gonna happen uh, either way. Um, the brand overall kind of just lost steam after those initial flavors, going into like delving back into itself by doing like uh, the, the Major Melon and some other like flavors that already seen the main Mountain Dew line, which I think was like what broke it. And then it just never wanted to come out with any new flavors, which really sucks. So there was two new flavors that were going to come out uh, there was a dragon fruit, and I think there was another one, I don't recall off the top of my head, that were going to come out, and they were going to be fun, interesting. I think they were really, to me, going to mean a reinvigoration of the brand as a whole. So I thought, you know, let's dust off the Mountain Dew perspective that I had done. Check out the playlist popping up right here. Let's take an individual look at a lot of the Mountain Dew energy drinks. Now, you, if you're a big fan of the channel and have been following me for some time, you've probably already seen uh, that I've actually taken a look at this before. Back when they first came out, I tried all of them all at once. But I don't like the video, the lighting's off, um, there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. And I think I've really perfected my craft since then. So, how is Strawberry Melon Sharp? Was it always called Melon Sharp? I don't recall that. That whole video is just a blur, so we should definitely... Take a look at it again. Get over here! All right, very much a candied watermelon smell. Uh, overall, like the smell. Overall, pretty good. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, it, it, it's interesting. I not. I wasn't a bit. I remember not being a big fan of these at first. And I'm still not a big fan of watermelon. Because this all came around the time when a lot of places were doing watermelon flavors. Uh, we had Mandu Major Melon, which also is going to be discontinued, it seems like. And a couple of other things, too. It's very... Hmm. There's a touch of kiwi in there. I know it's supposed to be strawberry, but I can't get kiwi out of there. Like, it feels like strawberry, watermelon, and kiwi are like the three things they throw together. It is very much like Major Melon. But it's not like Major Melon, the energy drink that they did as well. Interesting. It's very much more of the zero sugar version, really. It is not that bad. I like it a lot. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely one I would check out more. Um, there's a lot of flavors. I feel like it's redundant. For being, like, being advertised as this um, morning drink, essentially replacing the Kickstarter, I mean, the Kickstarter's still around, I like it. I don't know if it's a good morning flavor to have. When you're in the morning, you want to have something that's going to have a lot of different um, stuff in it that's going to help you in the morning. So like orange juice has a lot of vitamin C to help you wake up. Um, that flavor works a couple of, like there's some flavors. I think they just were like, well, we gotta do these basic flavors to test out the market. This actually would be fine as like a post workout slash Gatorade like thing. If mine do ever went into something like that. And if they want to advertise it as that, it's like summer for the morning, summer for the evening, summer for the afternoon. If they advertise it like that, I honestly would not mind it actually and I actually prefer the term Mountain Dew Rise it's a way better title than Mountain Dew Energy it's not it's not as redundant but I over do like this flavor uh, for the most part I think I get like a seven and a half out of ten the can design is neat uh, I like it a lot um, I've really grown to the logo I like how jagged and uniform it looks like it really captures the front of the can very well and doesn't feel overstretched like some of the cans later do uh, so when they got into like the more branded flavors, uh, I like the pink. I like the lion look. I don't think it works here. It worked better with Rise, but I understand why it didn't work as Rise was actually another coffee brand, which is not coffee. So I don't understand why. I don't know. The color is neat. Um, I like the idea of it being s like this chrome color. It's eye catching. You immediately see it on uh, in the coolers and on the shelves. Um, I'm gonna really hate this product leaving because I grown to like it more over time and even though I really didn't say it uh, in my reviews I do like it um, another thing uh, you'll notice uh, I'll show the ingredients list here first um, there's white grape juice in it which is interesting yeah there's a lot more juice in this it is oh my gosh that's not gonna show 
I'm sorry, but it's not going to show. Uh, but there's 5% juice, uh, zero sugar, zinc. There's a lot of vitamins for you in the morning. Uh, there's also two, this is actually two cups of coffee. Uh, it is 180 milligrams. Uh, most energy drinks are about 180 to 300. Uh, this is on the lower side. It is pretty good though. Uh, I like this a lot. Like Again, 7.5 out of 10. So what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Do you like it, hate it, dislike it? Let me know down in the comments. And what is your favorite flavor uh, for my new energy? And uh, are you going to visit the most? And yeah, that's really about it. So you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Red at FT underscore for food reviews. You can also uh, check out my podcast, Long Distance Pizza Party Podcast, uh, at Pizza Party Pod on most social media platforms and audio platforms. Uh, have a good rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, safe, people. Peace. Shortcut to your dream. I'll go straight through the stars on a flying thing.